Hey, this is Mayu, and today I want to talk Anthem. I've been thinking about doing an additional series on this channel, that way I can deliver more content, so the new series I'm starting will be Thoughts On. I'll be using this to talk about newer games that don't fall under the nostalgia conditions. Unlike Nostalgia, which brings a new episode every Friday, this series will be less consistent. I'm hoping to release at least two episodes a month, sometimes there may be more, or sometimes there may be less. The reason for this is because I want to make episodes for this series when I feel the need to, not because I have to. Another thing is, I don't want to rush these games. Games like today's topic, Anthem, require a good amount of time to sink in and shouldn't be rushed. But anyway, Anthem, let's talk about it. I've played a good amount so far, I've beaten the story, hit max character level, and I'm currently working toward maxing out my gear level. Overall, I've enjoyed my time spent so far in the game. I know currently there is a lot of hate out there for this game, and while I've had my issues, so far it's done one important thing right. Fun gameplay. When it comes to looter shooter games, the gameplay needs to be good. If you're gonna spend over hundreds of hours grinding for better gear, you need to at least enjoy the experience. One of the best parts about a game like Destiny 2 is the gunplay. It's so smooth and enjoyable, I had no problem logging in close to 1,000 hours in 2018 alone. While I don't enjoy the gameplay of Anthem as much as Destiny 2, it's still a blast. It feels awesome flying around as my storm. One of the best parts about this game is how there isn't any stress when choosing your class. I started with the storm, but had the comfort of knowing I'll unlock the Interceptor, Ranger, and Colossus as I progress through the game. To be honest, I haven't even switched my javelin yet, the storm is just too much fun. I did try out the ranger and the colossus though in the VIP demo, they just weren't for me personally. For those who aren't sure on what class they want to play as, they can always switch freely as they progress later through the game. Another thing I enjoyed about the gameplay is the ability to unlock blueprints from using guns. If there's a gun you enjoy, you can use that gun to complete specific challenges that unlocks the blueprints for the common, rare, epic, and even masterwork guns. It's nice because instead of having to wait for a higher level version of that gun to drop, you have the option to craft it instead. You lose the need to have to rely on RNG as much. When you combine the ability to always switch your javelin and the ability to craft better gear by using said gear, this game does a really great job of letting you play the way you want to play. Moving into the story, I didn't have any major issues, I enjoyed the villain, and the characters were interesting. There's also a lot of character dialogue outside of the main story. There are a lot of NPCs to have conversations with, which can be good and bad. For the people who want to learn more about this world and the characters, I think for the most part they'll appreciate that, but for me the main thing that kept bringing me into this world was the gameplay. For the most part, all these side conversations felt like a chore to go do and it was taking time away from me grinding for gear and enjoying the gameplay. Once you hit level 30, you're in the end game. There's a fair amount of things to do. You have three strongholds, each with three new difficulty tiers unlocked, Grandmaster 1 to 3. I've only played Grandmaster 1 as of right now, but even that was actually quite challenging. I'm a bit disappointed with there only being three strongholds, considering one of them is essentially replaying the last mission of the game. But you can also explore the open world, which to its credit is quite massive. There are missions you can do there that can reward gear and resources for crafting. Besides that, you can quick play into matches to help other people and get rewards. Finally, you have legendary bounties. So there is a small variety of things you can do overall, but I do feel left wanting more. But as someone who is disappointed with Destiny 1 at launch, and then became obsessed with it around House of Wolves, I understand that a lot more can come in the future. It would be nice to get a lot more up front, but typically with these games, that usually isn't the case. Like I said though, the gameplay so far is fun enough to keep me wanting to come back and preventing it from getting stale. Back to complaints, there have been a good amount of connection issues. I was hoping by now most of the problems would be solved, but some still exist. I will give Bioware credit, it seems they have been working hard to fix issues and complaints that the users have had. Some issues I personally would like to point out are navigating in free roam. It can be a pain constantly looking at the map for direction when you're first getting used to the game. Another thing is flying. Don't get me wrong, flying is fun, but I really dislike starting up certain missions, loading in, flying to them, then having to stop to let my suit cool down if there isn't water around, and then continue flying to the location. There are mods that can help with overheating, but not very noticeably in my opinion. Again, these aren't game breaking issues, mostly just annoyances. Overall, I've had a blast so far. 
This is a game that greatly benefits from playing with friends. Look, it's not perfect, and it's not a high tier Bioware game when compared to the Knights of the Old Republic, Dragon Age, and Mass Effect series, but this game is fun. I'm enjoying my time spent on it, and that's all that matters. Let me know if you agree or disagree, but anyway, this has been my thoughts on Anthem. <laughs>